today we're going to be talking about joints. There are 12, 300 types of joints, and there's a total of three uh, groups. Some are the fixed joints. The fixed joints are located in the skull. They, they never move. The other type is the uh, partial joints. It's, it's located on the backbone and they don't move very often and they only move like this are partially movable joints and the other types are the um are the movable joints the movable joints are located in the hands and legs and neck and fingers so these um joints is the point where bones connect and the function a function of the uh, joint is that it can help our body move and stay healthy. Movable joints are classified into six types. First one, we're going to be talking about the pivot joint. So the pivot joint is located in the neck. It helps our head move because of the neck joint. And it also helps us to say no. This is a model and this is how our neck moves. Next we're going to go to the saddle joint. The saddle joint is mainly located on the thumb and helps our finger move. It can move inside and outside. And this is our model. It's a, um, called the saddle joint because it's U-shaped like a saddle and the tongue connects the carpiles. Connects the carpiles and it's just, and that's why they call it the saddle joint. Next we're going to go to the um, hinge, hinge joint. The hinge joint is located right here, like in the middle of the of our humerus bone and our ulna and radius. It's called the elbow. We also have it in our knees. The speciality of hinge joint is that it can it can uh, help us brag about our muscles. And it can help us move uh, move our muscles like this and this. It opens and closes like a door. So it helps us uh, open and close the door and it also helps us to brag about our muscles. Next, we're gonna go to the condyline joint. That is for, for far my favorite joint. So the joint helps us to move our hand like this helps us move our wrist like this. It rotates but not completely 360 degrees. So um, it helps us move our wrist like this and can also help us to catch a baseball. Next, we're gonna go to the um, ball and socket joint. The ball and socket joint is located um, on the shoulder bone and on the hip bone near the femur and a pelvic this is the model of the ball and socket the ball and socket can rotate um 360 degrees like it helps us do 360 degrees like this yeah and same thing with the leg next we're gonna go to the um plane joint to so the plane joint also called as a gliding joint so the plane joint is located near our, our feet and this is how it like it can be like forward backward left or right these are the um six uh, different movable types of joints the a uh, gliding joint, condyline joint, the pivot joint, the ball and socket joint, the saddle joint, and the um, hinge joint. The pivot joint is located uh, near the neck uh, and it can move in both directions, left and right. Next we have the uh, saddle joint. The saddle joint um, is located in your thumb and car piles. And then, and then we had your hinge joint. The hinge joint um, is located in your knee, in your knee and elbow. And then moves and closes direction. 
And next we have the candlelight joint. Um, the the candlelight joint moves the wrist. Not complete 360 degree, but uh, it gets the job done. And next we have the ball and socket joint. The ball and socket joint uh, does your shoulder and your hip hip, hip joint. It moves the 360 degrees. And then we have the plane joint, also called as a gliding joint. The, so, uh, the, so it's, this is located near your feet. Your feet, ankle, and your wrist. It moves like it's gliding. Forward, backwards, left, right. There's six different types of joints that can move.